Hey y'all, what's up? It's Audrea and I am back with another video. Oh my God. Y'all, I got some lashes on and I'm not used to wearing lashes, so if I'm being all extra in this video, just know that I think I'm popping. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my must-have accessories for my sister locks. I know I've told you guys countless times, I do not use any products on my sister locks besides washing them. I don't use any products. If my scalp gets dry, I do take a little bit of oil, rub it on my fingertips, and massage it into my scalp. But as far as products go, I do not use any products. The question that I get the most about my sister locks is how many sister locks do you have? And how do you get your ends to be coily or curly? Um, I do not know how many sister locks I have. One day I'm gonna count them. I'm probably gonna wait until my hair gets a little bit longer and we'll see. To get my hair like this, I literally just wash my hair and I let it air dry. So my hair is open at the end, so that's why it's curly. Um, so basically whatever your curl pattern is, why you are a loose natural will probably be with your sister lock curl pattern to be at the end. So don't quote me on that. I don't know, everybody's different. Things change, people lock faster, people lock slower. It is what it is. If you have sister locks and they're kind of short like mine, or even if they're long, you need these curved long bobby pins. These things are bay. They are bay. They don't get snagged in your hair. You know, you, you don't have to use a million bobby pins. These are bay. So definitely when you get your sister locks, go to Walmart and get you some long bobby pins. So the next item, I know a lot of you are probably like, girl, why are you using rubber bands on your sister locks? When I tell you rubber bands have been like bay since I started my sister locks, when I had two braided bands, they were bay. Um, just for like something quick when I want to do like, you know, something fast, I could just boom, throw a little rubber band on there, going about my business, boom. Now, I will say that sometimes, especially if I put them on the end, they'll kind of get tangled up. So if that bothers you, get the like clear plastic ones and not rubber bands, but little small ponytail holders or whatever you want to call it, bay. Get them, girl. Okay, so when I first got my sister locks, I was like the first week, I wasn't feeling them at all. I went out of town. I was like, what am I going to do with my hair? Like, I, I was not feeling it. was crazy. So my best friend was my handy dandy scarves. And I just have like two or three of these scarves. And I used to use them um, to basically create like top knots and stuff like that. Just to kind of get me through that first awkward stage. Especially if you start your locks off and they're very short and you're not comfortable. Or if you're going out, you want to jazz it up and you know, you just want to do something real quick. Then the scarves would be your best friend. I did not realize how much I needed headband until my hair started getting longer and I would find myself like oh my god you know and sometimes I'll use like a band but you know sometimes you want to be cute so I got this one when I was in the Bahamas but any headband will do just like something cute if you're working out um, they have sweat bands and things like that just to kind of help you know lay your edges down if you want to use it for that but definitely get you a headband or a few headbands when you start your journey. The next product is a band. This is kind of like a headband, like a stretchy headband. Um, make sure you get the one that does not have the metal clamps on it. I have uh, I like to break mine. For, I don't know why I break these, but I break them and I stretch them out. Or if I leave them together, I stretch them out. And I stretch them out as far as they'll go because um, if they're too tight, they'll give me a headache. So basically what I like to use these for I use them when I do my high puff and tie it. It's like that satisfying feeling of putting your hair in a ponytail and then getting some gel and brushing it up. Basically, this is what this does. I'm not gonna do it in this video. I think I will do a styling video in the near future, but <laughs> not today. But make sure that you get your some of these bands, especially if you're very active and you don't like for your hair to be in your face. The last product that I wanted to share with you guys, a water bottle. Okay, so I know in the beginning, we say no water, no water, no water. It really depends on your hair. So just kind of talk to your sister lock consultant and say, hey, can I spritz water? Like, what do I need to do? If you're having a lot of slippage, definitely you don't need a water bottle. I didn't start using this water bottle until probably a year. So March is when I started using the water bottle. But now, like, 
the water bottle is Bay. When I wake up in the morning and you know, I'm just, I need to get out real quick. I just spray my hair with water and to just kind of flip it out. It just bas basically it wakes your hair up. So that's why I like it. I also use it, um, if I'm doing a style and I got to braid my hair down, I'll use some water because it's just easier to manipulate it while it's soft. So basically that's what the water does to my hair. It softens it up. I don't use a lot. Just, you know, just like, that's it. Or you get the same benefit if you get in the shower and just kind of let the humidity do its thing. But just gotta gotta be real careful about <laughs> wearing your hair down in the shower, especially if you have a lot of slippage. So I want to repeat: if your journey is new, if you have a lot of slip, say no to water, <laughs> okay? But if your hair responds okay to water and um, you're further along in your journey definitely get you a water bottle or two but that concludes this video thank you guys for watching really short video um, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed give this video a thumbs up turn your notifications on give me your social security number <laughs> no just kidding I'll catch y'all in my next one bye